today's the day. Materials started to be delivered. First two pallets are here. Bellguard heart form. These big slabs for our wall section make uh, set and base really, really easy. I like these a lot. All right, well, we are in a great position. All of our U-starts are set. So we got an 80 inch step here. So we're gonna cut two treads and make one big step, one 80 inch step for pavers here. We got all of our U-starts set for our art forms wall. That's over there. These are not set. Gotta figure out some grades. We have two treads going here. Really great day. Um, we also got some our uh, clean granite for what's gonna be our fire pit area. Really excited to put some treads in and uh, start getting these hardscapes really, really started. So, all right, getting ready to uh, set our first couple of treads. Seth and Bobby are getting a string line set up so that we are making sure that we are squared to the deck. They're doing that while they're doing that. I am double, triple, quadruple checking uh, to make sure that our, for our tread, unfortunately we have to cut these steps right there are interesting dimensions. So in order to span the entire distance, we have to cut some of these. So, and we're going for a uniform look. We have enough room to put a full one and then a cut one, but we don't like the way that's gonna look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut two of them and then we're gonna put the two cut pieces together and we're gonna create one long tread uh, with the cut right down the middle. Uh, so it looks much more uniform. The customers are going for a much more modern look with this design. And so having crisp, clean, straight lines, achieving that modern aesthetic. So I'm gonna triple check this one more time. Quadruple checked on the uh, tread. We got it off of our pallet onto the ground. I got the end that I'm gonna cut off off the ground, the other two ends. I'm gonna do one pass with my battery powered nine inch saw just to score this line. And then I'm gonna use my big saw with the hose and a wet cut. I'm not gonna dry cut. OSHA. We don't want any respirable crystalline silica dust getting in the old lung. So we're gonna use a big saw with the hose to wet cut. in so pavers up top pavers down below go back into the backyard middle set of treads and then sets over here working on filling the cores uh, you start face box and we're going to start mocking up some of our art form now. first in kitsap county bellguard's art forms going in this is a new product for us and for Bellguard, so uh, and for Kitsap, and for Kitsap, um, so we've got all of our mounting hardware. These are the corner brackets. You can see we got just two panels kind of mocked up here. It's a learning curve for all of us. We at Brookside don't uh, shy away from a challenge, do we, Seth? We sure don't. We sure don't. No. Art forms 
body pretty much done. I gotta say I'm pretty pleased with it. Now this backside is just mocked up, just making sure that we lined up with that corner and that corner. So we had to do a lot of figuring and we ran out of time. Some of the caps mocked up. They too are modular. They can be put in this orientation where they're flush. They can be set to where there's an overhang or they can even be installed vertically like this. I would definitely like to do this again. We definitely learned a lot. One big thing done. Right now is getting these pavers set in uh, our landings and getting this last tread set over here. Waiting for Seth to get back with some screed material for the rest of these landings all down there. So we're gonna be using a lot of screed. So while he's gone, I'm gonna be getting our U-start set and bringing our, or the excavator over to set this last tread over here. Um, we uh, brought our paver sucker vacuum backpack thing. These pavers weigh 150 pounds each. I wouldn't say effortlessly, but makes it a lot easier to lift these up, especially with two people, one person on the vacuum, one person on the grabo. So Seth's finally here. It's running around, got some more screed. I've got the backpack on. I'm gonna go hook up to my suction attachment there. And we're gonna try to uh, set this pavers. One side cut and then the battery on our saw died but one cut to make there and then one cut up by the deck uh, and then this front landing is done minus infill we got our delivery of accent rocks today and uh, these are some big buggers hand for scale that are gonna accent uh, along on the path um, and then I think some other spots on the hillside there are gonna get some some of these big honkers Front landing's really coming together. Let's go check on what the boys are doing in the back. So Seth and Bobby are working on big main path down the middle. Bobby's on the zip. Over here, you can see that we started to screed today because the grade change, um, we got take two. We had to, uh, we had to uh, bring the grade up just a little bit more uh, and we got to slope our pavers in to meet those stairs. But unfortunately, because we added this uh, other tread are perfectly divisible one foot measurement uh, from stairs to tread got messed up and then down here to the bottom of this tread and to the top of that one and that whole area where all of our stuff is is going to be turf break from the time lapse. Today's main focus has been getting our main pathway of pavers laid. Seth and Bobby have been doing a great job. We're doing a four inch gap uh, between these pavers. And they're gonna be filled with a black Mexican pebble. This is a Melville curb. It's like a six inch tall curb. This is gonna be bed space back in here, like all those rocks and stuff. Lots of block in the ground today, really starting to come together. One thing that I really liked that we came up with is with the Melville curb, 90s, 90s, and then it would get a break at the tread. And then we pick it back up over here with just two of them. And then we end up with our wall and we come all the way over here and then there's gonna be, it's not in place, but there's gonna be a piece in like that. And then we're gonna put another tread here, you know, a consistent theme throughout, uh, but it's gonna be then broken up by other elements. Uh, I think that's really a cool design choice um, that we went with on this particular project. You know, once the pavers are in it, they're gonna partially cover them. Once the turf's in, it's gonna be partially covered. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna see all six inches of the curb. And I think having just that little bit of character pieces poke out here and there, it's gonna really, really make this job pop, so.
Sometimes when you're in the middle of projects, you have some obstacles unbeknownst to us when we are doing our estimates. And this is an example of that. We knew that there was uh, some old tree stumps. Some have been ground down from trees that have been removed in years past. And we're talking about old growth cedar, old growth Douglas firs. What we didn't know is that we were gonna find a behemoth uh, right underneath where we wanted to put a paver pathway. Uh, we couldn't leave it. Uh, it was too high for our base. And also we don't want that rotting organic material underneath where the pavers are gonna go. So I'll show you what we just got done doing here. This fat area right here was all one massive stump right there, right there, right over there. Bobby, what are you up to? I am grading this out to that paint over there to extend this gravel patch. Homeowner decided they wanted a little bit more space for their fire pit and their lawn chairs or whatever. So Bobby's gonna extend out just a couple more feet because to give them just a little bit more space over there. While he's doing that, Corey and I are over on the other side of the project. This black steel edging, we got 16 foot pieces here, um, is going to, uh, I'm gonna say start here because this is where we're gonna start, but uh, we got these Melville curbs that are gonna help support the turf in this corner, uh, but we're gonna pick up our steel edging off the front corner. It's gonna go down to that orange stake and we're gonna run all the way to that far orange stake. Way over here. All the way over where Bobby's digging out. Bobby and Rusty here are working on uh, getting some steel edging in. The last piece of the day, there's gonna be another piece that goes kind of, you can barely see that string line all the way to the corner right there. Gravel for the fire pit area, pretty well spread. Bobby and I got these two landings cut in. Uh, Adam was here this morning and he started mocking up our path lights. I got our ledge lights cut into the wall. And by cut in, I just mean I made a little notch for the wire to sit in and they just sit there like that and then the caps gonna go right on top so we got a ledge light there ledge light there and then one on this side path lights there so name of the game today is grading grading and more grading we just got a 10 yard load of topsoil we're getting another 10 yard load back to back so we'll have 20 yards to play with today so the name of the game is moving soil and raking soil we're not like quite in that last 10 percent but we're definitely in the last like 25 percent hardscapes are almost done turf's almost ready to go in steel edging is pretty much done minus one piece we got plant delivery today and yesterday. We're still waiting on a couple more like bigger plants, trees and whatnot, uh, but we're really, really getting close and I cannot wait for you guys to see this final product.